Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. Last time, we finally retook Altea, but now we have to go through the same map again uh, when we entered Altea during Book 1. And this time, it's filled with a fuck ton of heroes. Like, look at all of them. They're gonna be a pain. But I also want to do something interesting real quick, because I want I want to show you guys something. As we learned a couple episodes ago, the Fire Emblem is actually the Binding Shield, so when we reset the game... Ta-da! You can see the the spears. So, yeah, that's why at the beginning of Book 2, all the spears were gone. But during, uh, like, as we go along in Book 2, it'll gain more uh, pieces of the Binding Shield onto it. So, that's a little bit of a uh, Easter egg. But that appears directly after you get the orbs. So you never, I mean, if you don't get any of the star shards, then, like, You'll only see the light spear up there, but still. It's cool to see them both there. Anyway, we're on to chapter 16, and I kind of already have an idea of what we're going to be doing. First of all, there are a fuck ton of thieves here. There's about five by my count. So we're going to be bringing in pretty much everybody who is not dead. Oh god. I don't know why my controls just had a heart attack there, but they usually do. Okay, I think... Ooh. Hmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to bring in Elreen over uh, Malicia for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, I do have two people that can already heal, which is pretty good. So I think I'm fine without her. All right, let's let's get let's let's take back Altea for once and for all. Mm. Doctor Pepper, <laughs> what's going on? Even thieves have managed to find their way in. Could the Geospear have been taken by them? Your Highness, a suspicious thief is escaping towards the north. We should send somebody pursuit in pursuit before it's too late. Hmm, but we can't use horses or Pegasi inside, so what should we do? I don't know why we decided to create this rule, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know why you decided to come up with this rule, Marth. Just have the horses drag the fucking mud in. I don't care, you're saving your kingdom. <sighs> fucking idiot. Anyway... Like they said, there is a thief that's just kind of sitting here and having a fun old time. And he'll try to escape, I think, north? So I guess... I think the real plan would be have somebody head them off. But, like, damn, is there, like, nobody that can get at them. Like, I would want Sirius to go after them. But, like, he's kind of... He's kind of not in the right place. Uh, Marth could go after them. Also, you have, like... Barely any broken weapon, or all your weapons are broken. Let's see. Anybody who could make it there? Hmm. I'm. Uh, who could go do that? I think it could be Ogma that could take care of that. Let me just see. Where does she move? She moves one underneath. Uh. Okay. So using this and uh, Ogma's already pretty fucking OP movement. He should be able to collect that thief before anything bad happens, which is kind of important. Because I think to beat, to get to the final bosses, you need to have every single spear. So, the Geo Spear, otherwise known as the Earth Spear, is taken by this random thief. Okay, um... Uh... How far could she... She has a movement of six, so she go one, two, three, four, five, six... So she'd go to about here. So it's about one, two, three. One, two, three from there. I'm trying to see how Fina could help him out move faster. One, two, three. Hmm. Uh, I don't really know. We're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to think on that one. That one's gonna have to be thought out. But yeah, we have to worry about all the heroes and uh, this random door is like it doesn't open you have to wait a while before it actually opens really you could just have cirrus run over there and be like fuck you guys and just gets there instantly but i don't know how <laughs> how reliable that one will be let's see i want this thief dead i need to get some murder in murdering is always important at least in my world in his world he likes murder I mean, I think you guys should already know that. 
All right, let's see. Because all the thieves will be running in for all the treasures, which I want, because who knows what they could hold. And then they're going to be running out this direction. So we have to get there before the thieves escape. So, let's see. Um, yeah, let's see. I think everybody's going to have to split up. Other than, like, we're going to need the main force up here waiting for the door to open while at the same time trying to kill all these random fuckers. Also, somewhere... Somewhere... There he is! Amstrad is here. And he, he has the Mercury Sword, like, twice. So if you have George talk to him, uh, he recruits. So, you know what we gotta do? We gotta get Georgie, boy. We, got, we gotta get Giorgio in there. Let's see. I'm gonna have Lene follow him. Uh, the only one who hasn't moved is Tiki, and I'm probably going to be leaving here her near this area just to instantly transform and start the murder. So, uh, let's see how the enemy responds. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> They're like, we want in. Yeah. Okay, uh... <laughs> it doesn't help that much, does it? It's like we're kind of chasing him along the way, but it's like it's not enough for it to be of any use to us. <laughs> it's like we're chasing him away. It's like, I'll get there, you rascally little kid. It's like, I don't think I'll get there. Ogma, you need to run fast. You gotta go fast. In fact, I bet... <sighs> Let me... Hmm. I'm gonna reset this. Because, like, there's a certain way, like I've said before, of placing your enemies into line, or placing yourself into line so that they sit in their certain spots. Because this game has no way of actually, you know, placing your units into the correct spots that you want them in. That was only included in later games, so it's like, we have to do it this way. By planning out who we want to sit where. Who wants to sit on the bus with everybody? So yeah, the plan is to place Am... Not Amstrad. To place Cirrus in a way that he can, uh... Properly stand. So, we want him to be in spot 11. Which means he needs to be chosen last. So, have everybody else... Uh, not you. No, not you. Let's see. And then, we do select again. And then we've got Cirrus. Because he's the big boots man. Because I, I made him get really good boots. He's got fucking... He's got he's got legs, man. He's got legs. Alright. Plan is he just books it. He's just like, Hello, Mr. Thief. And he's like, Holy shit, that guy's amazingly fast. And it's like, Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um, I'm going to have her use her talisman. Because I guess... I probably, I mean, when I redid the last episode, I probably tried to make her redo that, so whatever. Uh, where's, oh, there's Nabarl. I was like, where's my boy Nabarl? It's like, oh, he's over there. Let's see. Can Marth get up there? Yes, he can. That would be a great thing. Also, sort, oh, oh, so that's what this thing's good against, mercenaries. Let's see, what's stronger the steel sword is? Marth is pretty crap. He's pretty fucking crap. <laughs> Come on, Marth, kill him. You got it. Oh yeah, I was gonna give that power ring over to uh over to Cirrus. I guess Marth could use that. I mean either one would be fine in the end. I'm gonna have Fina dance for Nabarro so that he can sit in the same place he was during the last try. Cirrus Cirrus has got his hops, so he'll make it there in time. I mean hops. Yeah, I guess so. He's just got really good shoes. He's like Sonic. He hit the speed shoes. <laughs> oh, God. He's hit invincibility, guys. Okay, so... Uh, Agma can go there. You can go there. George is going to have to stay pretty close, because once Amstrad comes out of the, the woodworks, I'm going to need to, like, be there immediately for it. Let's see... Lene can probably go with that. Kind of need to keep everybody in kind of the same place. It's kind of strange like that. Okay. And then the plan for the thieves is to, once we've gotten rid of all these uh, 
fucking heroes, we're just gonna block the area off. Remember when there was a dragon here? That was painful. There was a lot of dragons on this map. I'm glad that I, I haven't had to deal with dragons in quite some time. Alright. Here they come. Here they come. Yep, you can't escape Cirrus. His hops are too fast. Come on, is that far enough? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alright, the power of the fucking Master Sword from The Legend of Zelda Go. Legend of Zelda Go. <laughs> Just fucking kills him. <laughs> oh, Cirrus, I love you too much. Alright, we got the Geospear back. So, that's good. That's good. Problem is, it's you can see that it's kind of cracked, so it's... We're going to have to repair it at some point. So at least we've got one side that's mostly okay. We're going to have to deal with these fuckers, though. Oh, boy. Um, If I could get Marth up to the top, he could block all the thieves from running out the exit, and then Lene can act as his healer. So that's that plan. Where is Amstrad? Uh, no Amstrads, no Amstrads. Is he just staying still? Yeah, it looks like he's just standing still. So we don't have to worry about that, but we do have to worry about the mass amount of, uh, people coming in. <laughs> um, and they're pretty good against dragons. At least in my experience. Uh, mm, I mean, maybe. We're gonna have Tiki go right here turn into the divine dragon the divine dragon of memes go the divine dragon of seizures more like it <laughs> she's angry i'm angry so those two should be fine there uh let's see hmm i could have uh her just choke out the area but i'd rather it be kind of like a a multiple choking point. We're all gonna choke together, you know? Okay, um... Don't know if this is the best idea, but it's what I'm going with. That's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, they're allowed to double the dragon, which is great. Just great. <laughs> oh no. Stop fucking with Nabarl. All you guys hate him. You hate him because you ain't him. Holy crap. Alright, what? Well, Ha <laughs> ha It's time for me to show you the destructive power of my meteor magic. Your meteor penis. Oh no. Willow, that's his name? Okay. Damn, son. That's a pretty strong magic. <laughs> They're just like, we hate Marth. It's like, I understand. But fuck off. I'm going to have to speed this shit up. Well, I'm dead. Nice try, us. Nice try. We always try. I try so hard. I try all the time. <laughs> Shut up, Sheeta. You haven't even done anything this entire this entire playthrough so far. Shut up. I know what must be done. So that thing opens like immediately. So we can't take that that strategy of having Marth just sit there and be prepared for World War Eight. Okay. Does that select everything? Yes, it did. Good. No, I do not need to know. I already know Cirrus can take care of this pretty damn easily, so it's up to him again. Um, Tiki is going to actually have to uh, probably prepare the area for uh, like this door opening. Nabarl, you can. S uh, it's going to have to be split between uh, who should take place there? It's probably gonna have to be Ogma and Nabarl working together to block off the area. Hmm, is there any other better way of choking the area out? Hmm. It's kind of hard to say. Who's got really good defense? 12 defense, 11 defense, 10 defense, 8 defense... <laughs> I'm going to guess most of these guys have horrible-ass defense. Uh, who has... Really, the person with the best health is actually Paula. Who has the highest speed slash skill of you? Yeah, it's kind of a toss-up between the three of you. You all are pretty good, so... I'm just going to have to figure out the best place to, like, kind of keep them at bay. 
Hmm. It's like, it's not a good choke point there. I don't like diagonal chokes. That's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. So, I'm probably going to place, like, right here. Marth could take care of this random thief and then run away immediately afterwards. I don't know if that Sword Slayer will actually do really good against heroes, because they're not mercenaries, technically, but maybe they're counted as such, so that... The sword, the sword Slayer actually works correctly. I don't know. Let's see, and then Marth will be retreating next turn. Um, I'm probably going to have my mages kind of... Eh, it's going to have to be a split work right here. Mages are going to have to come together to work on this. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be... This might take a couple of tries just because of how strange this map is. It's just so oblong shaped. I don't like it. Um. Okay. Hmm. They could both get attacked by this. Hmm. I wonder if I place Nabarl and Paula in this kind of Xing era area can I properly prepare for all this shish? Alright, dragon eyes. Time to dragon ties, baby. <laughs> Watch him go. Alright. And then... Everybody be prepared right here. Marthy, move back down. America can act as, like, healer. Yeah, pretty much. He needs to work on that shit. If Cirrus can make it around the bend... <sighs> then he can take care of, like, the back force of all the heroes, because he can kind of just do that by himself. He's just that good. He's just that good. You may have hit him, but you're dead. You may have hit him, but you're dead. Did he have any crit ratio on that one? Like, the uh, thief, not Cirrus. I don't know if he did. Okay. Um. We're gonna see how it goes this time. It didn't go too bad last time. They've Made some weird decisions sitting there. Stop hitting Nabarl. Nabarl will kill you. I don't want him to die. That's bullshit. Thank God. It's just like, we want to be annoying. It's like, thanks. Oh, they've opened the door. Okay, they're coming for Lene. The Lene is too OP. They can't take her down. Fuck, the entire army is here. What the fuck? I didn't know they'd all be right up on her asshole. God fucking damn it. I I literally cannot lose her because she is importante. I'm going to just have to be like, all right, Tiki, you sit there and uh, you destroy. Because she's the only one who can really take on that area. Like, I don't know, consecutively. I'm not sure what to say there. It's just going to have to be she sits there with probably... Uh, Maybe Merrick healing her while Lene stays with the main force and just kind of heals them as they get damaged. Why can't I just skip this stupid little, like, go around? It's like, we really want you to look at the really cool map we made. It's like, calm down. I know you like your mapping, but you really didn't do that much. You placed some tiles down. I've tried to make a Fire Emblem habit hack. It's it's not as glamorous as you may think. <laughs> All right, so Tiki, you go left, turn into a dragon because we have no time. She needs to move right in front of the door. I'm worried about like that guy using meteor on her, but as long as she's right on the uh, the blocked space, they can't do much. All right, so. You go here. We're going to try that same strategy. They just really, really like Nabarl. He's like their fucking hero. They're like, we love you so much that we're going to murder you. It's like, fucking calm down. <laughs> Why can't you fuckers just calm the hell down? It's like, but we love him so much. And it's because he kills them. And it's like, you're too good for this shit, brother. Okay. We're going to do a little more of a conservative job this time. Marth, you still do. Uh, don't use that one. 
Use your regular sword. Use the sword you're taught to use, Marth. Oh, Yeah, use your fire emblem that doesn't even look like the fire emblem. <laughs> it's like the shield just has like a little red mark on it. It's like, I don't think the fire emblem had that on it, but okay. Uh, let's see. Merrick, you go with Tiki. Lene, you go with the main force. Uh, Agma. Yeah, we're just going to place Paula up one, maybe? Hmm. It's going to have to be a very uh, creative kind of placement for everybody. Okay. Uh, you just keep going. Hmm. I wonder if I were just to place us here, that would block most things. Hmm. Problem is, like, we'd kill them, and that's not good. We want you to stay alive for our murder. Yeah, they already pushed past that point immediately, so there's no good way of doing that. Alright, Marth, you retreat. Okay, Tiki, you get in front of the door. That's gonna... <laughs> that sound effect. Okay, and then... Uh, Merrick, you stick behind her just to act as her mend staff. And then, okay, so... If someone, if we were to put them right here, they could be hit from right in front, right in back. Hmm. The problem is Nabarl is too good. Nabarl is just like, I fucking hate all of you and beams them all to death when I need him to not kill them. <laughs> I need him just to keep them there. It's really, it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating that he's that good. He's turned too good to be... He's turned so good that he's a liability in the end. Okay. Um... I don't even know if Paula could do a lot of damage here. I need them to be defensive walls, not stand here and do nothings. Um... Have I even gotten a single armor knight the entire game? I don't know. Should I try the same... Setup? Should I try two here? I could try this strategy, but it would leave them pretty open. Like, it would leave pretty much everybody open to attack. And they can... Four characters can reach right up Nabarl's asshole. It's like, please, stop. Uh, could he switch out... Like, what blades is... uh? Yeah, anything he would give him would just be make him better. It's like, god damn. Uh, do you have, what are your things? Oh, you've got barrier. But barrier really doesn't do much. What does barrier do again? Yeah, magic defense. Like, cool and all, but that's not going to be helpful. George, uh, he could sit here and snipe some people. The problem is, I don't think he's too far away. I don't think he's too close for, uh, fucking, the, uh, what are they called? The big old magician guy to fuck with him. I don't think so. Well, that did not work out well, George. I wanted you to double them, not hit them once and say goodbye. Okay, um, gotta take care of the thief for once and forever. <laughs> oh, these strategies just don't seem to be working, do they? Thanks, Thief. <laughs> Thank you for once in your life. Also, you didn't have to crit that, Cirrus. You already had it handled. Can't you just crit first and save me a usage of the weapon? It's like, this weapon is super cool. You can't use it a lot, dummy. Um, best we can do is just hope for, hope for hell. Hope that they take up too much space. Ogma, you better not kill somebody again. That's a bad boy. Stop murdering. No more murder. Okay. Nabarl. Damn it! Alright, I got ourselves back to where we were. Like, again, it wasn't that far along. But I placed out uh, Nabarl a little bit further in, like, an attempt for psych, for physic to work a lot better. Because... We know that uh, Linne can now use Physic again because we've regained it. 
So now, after getting hit that much, he can at least pull back after killing two people. And therefore, have a little bit better of an advantage over the enemy. Now he can pull back to this area. And, uh... Properly just wait. Have Paula move into place. Have Linnea staff and use physic on him so that he's back at full health and he can take less he can take a couple more shots than he did and that's my hope sometimes all you can hope on is hope okay uh we're gonna place everybody back into the spots that they were in this is already looking pretty all right let's see i made the same exact mistake as i did the first time Nice to see I can never make, uh, I can never correct my own mistakes. Okay. This is like the fourth time you've seen Cirrus run around this corner and kill this stupid thief. It's like we crit once, second time we got hit, third time we were able to, like, faint the hit. And then this last time, like, we just had the same thing as the second time. <laughs> Probability is never on my side. <laughs> If it is, it's, like, going to be soon that somebody is going to die. It's like, thanks. Let's see. Um. Is there anybody that could be more useful? Nah. <laughs> Attempt number four. Let's go. Let's go. Please, stop killing people. For once in your life, stop murdering other people. It's like, goddamn. Okay. Okay. They've opened their gates, but they're angry at Tiki. They're like, Tiki, no! And it's like, well, bad decision, Jimmy. <laughs> and they're like, wait, fighting the giant dragon was a bad idea? It's like, yeah, it was. <laughs> Tiki's going to level up a lot from this, so... <laughs> it's just hilarious. The enemies think, oh, how cute they are. They're stupid. They've got brain damage out there. They have no clue how to actually fight. They're like, <laughs> let's throw ourselves at her. It's like, you're not going to win this battle. Ooh, it's looking close, though. It's looking close. Okay. We actually made it another turn for once in our miserable lives. Okay. Tiki's not looking great, but that's why we have Merrick here. Use the power of men to mend her back to normal. And then she can just kill everybody else who's standing there. Who's being stupid and won't die. How much of a heal do I get? I think I get a good... Ooh, full heal. Good shit. 28 health. Now she's just back to normal. Murder. I love being a murderer. Okay, who wants to die first? Uh, You could hit her. I didn't even know they had killer bows. I'm not going to take a chance to let them attack again. Or at least let this one attack again. It It did a lot of damage to Tiki. Like, the rest of them can't do fucking anything. But the killer bows can definitely be a pain. Navarro survived, which is great. Meaning that uh, we can now do a regular mend on Navarro. And uh, just start shoving people into the wall until they die. I mean, at some point, all these heroes are finally going to meet their fucking maker. You're going to meet fucking uh, Naga in the sky and he's going to be like, you're a dumb shit. <laughs> Naga's like, why are you all stupid? And it's like, we're sorry. It's like, you're stupid. Stop being stupid. Okay. Problem is, I think Am Amstrad is... Well, he's definitely angry at us. Oh boy, if we could pull them out of there and make them be not stupid, that'd be great. Or if we could somehow get, uh... Like, George into place past everything, maybe that'd be great. But at the same time, it's just, it's kind of impossible. Alright, so... Eleven Sword. Eleven Sword. Kevin Eleven out here, bitches. Okay, um... Okay, um... I'm making decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, nobody really has Leaven Swords anymore, except for this guy right next to, uh... Uh, Nabarro. We're gonna have to make a decision somehow. Decisions have to be made. I cannot, I cannot pussyfoot around. Kill them. Kill them now. Yes. The Senate is pleased by this decision. Okay, um... I'm gonna need to... 
Uh, will she be able to survive a lot? That's a good question. That's a good question. Because the problem is, if we leave Nabarl out there, he'll be kill He'll be attacked by like five different heroes, and Amstrad is the one we need alive. I want that man alive, and it's like, I don't know if we can keep that man alive out there. He's pretty stupid and doesn't realize that, hmm, maybe I shouldn't attack the guys who are just about to murder my entire fucking gang. It's like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be stupid. Hmm, nah, I'd rather be stupid. It's like, <laughs> fucking idiot. Fucking troglodyte. All right. Um, what is, what's the play here? Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. Ooh, my man, pulling work. He may not be the best hero, but he is one of them. All right, let's see. What can be done here? Um, I could technically shove George right here and then have... No, Fina's stuck there. Uh, we need fucking this guy out of the way. We need this guy out of the way. Um... How much damage will Elrene take if he took a shot from this thing? Hmm. Also, the other problem is, how many shots is going to be taken here? George could probably defeat him. And end up with an okay amount of health. Uh, let's... Which one's stronger? <laughs> uh, the silver bow's a bit weak. Because remember, he, he he only got one shot in. What's their speeds? 11 speed, 14 speed, 15 speed. He does not have a good speed advantage on that shit. Um, she could try to take on some of these guys. Sword Slayer, Armor Slayer. We don't even have any armored units. Um, I'm wondering if I should make Lene move again or Nabarl move again. Because Nabarro could probably do... The problem is fucking Amstrad's fucking stupid and he's going to pull the same thing. Okay, is everybody else... I'm going to go check on fucking Cirrus while I'm doing it. It's like, I need to bring my mind off other things to think about these these strategies that I'm coming up with. Because that side's already finished. Uh, Marth? <laughs> um, could he? Nah, he's pretty crap. He's got okay, like, strength and such. 12 defense. We're going to do his 8 defense. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's no fucking contest right there. Um, he has the same defense as Elperine. That's weird to think about. Okay. How are we going to accomplish this strategy? Hmm. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use him to get rid of that shit. Uh, 14. Just go for it. Just fucking go for it. You've got... I mean, those swords are meant to be more magic-based than they are... Uh, other-based, I guess. See, it didn't do a ton of damage to him. It didn't do a ton of damage either way, though. So... I'm going to have to place her... Out... Here... It's just such a bad idea. I don't like this. It just doesn't work out. It's not it's not sustainable. It's not kosher. It's not kosher out there, guys. It's not kosher. Oh god. Um This fucking choke point is horrible and I hate it. But she does have a a good chance of getting in, like, quite a lot of hits. I don't know. Um, could we use the Worm Slayer? Like, does that give me any other sh traits? It's just more strength in the end. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna fucking go for it. Sometimes, I mean, I've said it before, you gotta throw it in the fuck it bucket and just say, Yep, that's it. Fuck it. Worst fucking... Okay, she's not that badly fucked up, but... Oh boy, if she takes too many shots during these next events, like... Not going to be going too well. Um... 
Who needs health? She does. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't have a good chance of killing these guys. So, I'm going to hope that just the enemies are pretty fucking beefy. I'm going to hope that they are big beefy men and that they don't kill her. <laughs> Which is going to be a pretty big chance of, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, staff, physic, yes, she needs that good health. Even if she only lost like six health, she's going to be losing a lot. I need her to be dodging, and I need her to be safe. I need her to be dodging, and I need her not to be hitting a ton. Because I want the other enemies to like, clog up the area so that she isn't like, in danger. I could also place uh, George right here in preparation for everything else. The thieves are finally starting to grab shit, so... Cirrus will probably make it in there in time if we get there. Alright, let's hope for hell. They're just gonna keep trying to hit him. Ha ha ha, it's time for me to suck my own dick. Go, dick sucker! Aw, oh, we all hate you, Merrick! It's like, fuck off! Oh yeah, Tiki is just gonna murder you all. Y'all tried, but you're gonna die. <laughs> you almost got him. Alright. Whew! That's not what I wanted either, though. You're safe, but I want you to not kill. No! Bad Paula. Stop it. Paula Paula is not Dalo right now. Paula Paula is not Dalo right now. Fucking, uh... Um, okay. Send away the Worm Slayer. Hope hopefully Amstrad is not stupid. You foul traitors taste the might of my murderous sword. Can you not? Can we not? Whoo! That was close. Oh, that was a closer shave than my own balls could fucking feel. Ooh! That was that was scary, says Cool Cat. Cool Cat would be like, My balls hurt, cool Daddy Derek, why did you rip my balls off? It's like, Cool Cat, we had to we had to neuter you after what you did to Mama Cat. <laughs> I know you love Mama Cat, but you can't rip her own you can't shove your balls in her mouth. <laughs> That's what I have to do, Cool Cat. But Daddy Derek <laughs> I don't know why I'm making Cool Cat memes. Sometimes when you're just you're like <sighs> okay. Yeah, he's got the act. He's got the exit. Get Paula the fuck out of there. Paula Paula was indeed Dala today, but Dala's Dala's end. Okay. We go to talk. How you doing, Amstrad? Amstrad. <laughs> it's Astram, but fuck you, Amstrad. <laughs> How are you doing? So it's the traitor, George. What do you want with me? Wait, Amstrad. General Ebel has already fallen. You won't be able to win even if you keep on fighting. You want me to surrender? Never. Even if I'm the last one standing, I am a warrior of Akenia to the very end. Why are you... Why are you... Who are you fighting for? Are you fighting for Emperor Hardin? No, it's not because of that man. It's because of... But because of Nina. And for Akenia. But why did... <laughs> why did Nina tell you to fight here? Do you really think that Nina would hope would hope for this kind of battle? Well, I hadn't seen Nina for a while. I was told she fell ill and that I couldn't see her. But since Hardin is the Emperor of Akenia, I have no choice. If I don't follow his orders, I will become a traitor and I will be betraying Nina. I thought the speed was a little bit fast and I was like, what? <laughs> Amstrad, Nina already entrusted the emblem to Prince Marth. Do you understand the meaning of her actions? Wh what? When did this happen, George? Nina requested Prince Marth for help. I believe that that's the only that this that it is the only explanation. Amstrad, if you want to find out the truth, then come with us. If you die here, what will Mida, what will Medea do? You must live on for her. You must live on, so you can confirm with your eyes what's happening. Hmm. I guess I have no choice. But George, this was if this war is as Hardin said, it was caught and was caused by Prince Marth's ambitions. It wasn't okay. I will never forgive you. Remember that. <laughs> Prince Marth has absolutely no ambitions. He's kind of like the most 
fucking milk toast guy. He doesn't actually he doesn't do anything normal. He's just like, I just want friendship, and it's like, calm, calm, fucking on. All right, well, at least everybody is mostly safe. We've still got this edge of the map to deal with, but this edge of the map ain't gonna be fucking living much longer. How you living, chicken boy? How you living, chicken boy? <laughs> oh, I forgot I healed her with Lene. <laughs> How you living, chicken boys? How you living? <laughs> Alright, that's just a reference to the fucking Skateboard Kid. Skateboard Kid's the best movie, and you can never at me with anything different, because you know it to be true. You know this to be true, Jimmy. Uh, we don't even really have to, uh, do anything in there. We can just block the exits and wait for them to come to us. Because we're we're pretty damn hurt. Everybody is hurt beyond belief. I would say it'd be best idea to retreat backwards. Anybody who is that hurt needs to go back and just be healthy. <laughs> because Paula Paula almost died. Fucking she took on that many people. And in the end, I think the only reason that Amstrad lived was because I took the Worm Slayer away from her. I don't know what she's using currently. She was using the Armor Slayer, so that, like, saved Amstrad in a way. I think it might have. I don't know. Alright, let's see what the enemy does. The enemy is stupid and keeps trying to throw bees at the giant dragon. You know, bees don't really help your case. You're just like, please, no, have mercy! Please, your omnipotence, have mercy! When you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take them away! <laughs> All right, take them away. Go. Also, just death. I've got my own, like, crazy murderer. I've got a lot of those. <laughs> Wait, I have a lot of those. Okay, I got an another speed. I am speed. Your speed is maxed, so no. No point in maxing that out any further. Everybody else get fucking behind. <laughs> oh, God. Look at them. They've been battered to death. It's like, everybody, go backwards. Tiki will take care of everything. Tiki, uh, Julian, you go ahead and take care of more of the stupid disputes over this direction. Actually, Amstrad could probably help out with the killing of the thieves. That sounds like a fucking book. Killing of the thieves. Okay. There is, like, what the f You all are like, well, guys, this is gonna work. You guys know this is definitely gonna work. It's like... <laughs> Oh, you sad, sad sack of shit. Okay. Let's kill stupid Meteor Man. He's annoying. You're an annoying little bitch, so die. <laughs> Tiki was just... She says it in, like, her little, her little girl voice. You're an annoying little bitch, so die! <laughs> just, like, that would be fucking hilarious. Fucking Tiki is almost at fucking level 20 already. Emperor Harden, forgive me. I suck at my job. No, a job. Okay, uh, let's see. I think Tiki's transformation is going to give out soon. I'm going to have to be worried about that. Though, I think most of the, uh, fucking, uh, swarm people are going to die very, very soon. Let's see, I'm going to put on a little squad over here to take care of that. I'm just going to have to hope that Tiki doesn't de-transform. Oh, they're, they're booking it. They're like, wait, 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 wait. We're going to die <laughs> it's like yeah <laughs> they're like wait wait we didn't we didn't sign up for this <laughs> i just i wanted to serve my country it's like <laughs> you think i care you think i care do you do you check this face does it look like i care it's like no <laughs> it's like exactly egg fucking exactly in fact marth you can just what is Marth's resistance? Oh, he's got zero fucking resistance. Well, Swarm barely does any damage anyway, and Meteor is dead, so you just kind of block the way, my friend. How, what do you feel about the soldiers, my friend? The soldiers are horrible! I hate them, says Cool Cat. Cool Cat, I didn't know you were a uh, liberal. <laughs> cool Cat is a liberal. That would be fucking the worst fucking TV show ever. Cool Cat is a liberal. That's just the worst. <laughs> that, that sounds like something Derek Savage would do if Cool Cat turned against him. He'd like, Cool Cat, you're just one of those evil liberals. Trying to take away my guns when I try to make my safety videos. <laughs> it's like, calm the fuck down. <laughs> calm the fuck down, you crazy bastard. Okay. Uh, 
I don't really care about you guys. I'm gonna kill. I don't think they're going to be attacking anymore because they're like, wait, our big dude's dead. <laughs> when? Why wasn't I told about this? <laughs> oh boy, you sad sacks of shit. You're on the wrong side of history. At least history of a video game. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna kill these guys real quick. I wonder what you guys have inside of yourselves. I want whatever you have inside of yourself. It sounds like a inspirational speech. It's like, I want what's inside of you to come out. <laughs> I don't know what that might mean. Damn, $10,000. I will take a good 10 grand. Okay. You get over there. How's your spit? Yeah, you can pick up more shit. Kill that guy. We must ransack the uh, Altean fucking treasury for our own stuff. Even though... Really, Marth owns it, so it's not like we're ransacking it. It's just we're taking it. Also, we got another shaver. Damn. He really needed to shave it. <laughs> Marth really needed to shave his nuts, so good thing we found that. Uh, you want to kill some people, Marth? You want to get some experience out there? <laughs> For once in your horrible life, go get some experience. Dunk. Dunk. <laughs> and then we're going to pick up, like, whatever's left in the armory and just fucking book it out of here. Give me all your items. Yay, fortify. <gasps> oh, boy. Just send it away. Yeah, she got a recovery, or a recover as well. The fucking, the random shaman guy is just going to be like, I'm going to heal myself. <laughs> he says it, like, very scarily. I'm going to heal myself. And it's like, no, you're not. Giant dragon's going to kill you. <laughs> Explosion. Explosion. All right, you're dead. You're a dead man. Alright. Got another physic. Probably gonna give that to one of our random fuckers. Uh, let's see. Thieving time. I'm gonna steal from myself. This might take a couple of turns to steal from myself. <laughs> why can't it just be like... <laughs> why can't I have like a thief skill? Like, where it's like, steal all chests from your range. A dragon whip? That's cool, but not useful. That's cool, but not useful. Uh, let's see. And I hate having to go all the way back over to Marth and then all the way back over to Julian. Give me a guiding ring. Okay, that's okay as well. Not what I wanted. I need another guiding ring for Merrick. I'll probably find one along the way so I don't really have to worry about the secret shop. I think I might have already missed the one that carries all of the upgrading items, but I can still check and see if I was near one. A goddess icon... Like I said, not what I wanted. <laughs> like I said, not what I fucking wanted. Marth, why do you not keep any good things? I think that dragon whip is like gonna be a gift for like uh, Sheeta in the end. <laughs> I don't have another. There's no other mercenaries in the game except for I guess fucking Samto. Who the fuck uses Samto? <laughs> fucking Santa. All right, let's seize this shit. Prince Marth. The enemies in the castle have been vanquished. Altea is finally in our hands again. Really? That's great. But I still don't see my sister. Your Highness, Prince Princess Elise has been taken by Garnif again. <laughs> huh? Goto, is that true? He ordered the Dark Priest to search for the clerics of noble birth. Lena, Maria, and even your sister Elise. Elise! <laughs> they all have been taken by Garnif. Is that so? But what is he planning on doing by capturing them? That I do not know. But I bet it had, it's nothing any it's not anything good. The chain of events so far has all been the doing of Garnef. He's back again. Goto, where is he now? I don't know, but I guess but I guess I would bet Garnef's next target will be Princess Niana, so he is probably at Pales. I see. We will go to Pales. I will rescue Harden from the Dark Spear's influence. I will defeat Garnef and the Dark Priests, and I will rescue the captured clerics. So yeah, that's why we didn't see, uh, fucking, um, anybody. <laughs> that's why we didn't see, uh, Lena, or his sister, or Maria, or, uh, Niana the entire game. Alright, chapter 17, Graz Setting Sun. Marth and the others again moved out from Altea and headed towards the Imperial Capital of Pales. But along their way, they passed through the Kingdom of Gra, a land allied to Akenia. In the previous war, Gra sided with the Dolonian Empire, which resulted in their king, Jeol, dying in battle and the destruction of the kingdom. The country was once part of Altea, but they sided with Akenia after listening to Hardin's orders. 
Hardin found King Jiol's daughter, Princess Shima, and allowed her to ascend the throne. And then he ordered the reinforcements from Gra. Shima, Shima, quite like his fiance, received wild support from the citizens of Gra. To them, Shima was their only hope. The youths all volunteered to become soldiers. Ah, child soldiers. They were happy to move out and have a chance to defeat their bitter enemy, Altea. But their dreams were shattered in an instant. Before the fast approaching Altea elites, Gra's soldiers lost all morale and fled for their lives. So, Gra's not doing well. Yeah, we fucked them up last time. We fucked them up. Yeah, this is the same map. We fucked them up pretty fucking bad last time, so... Kind of deserved it, because they killed Marth's dad, but... Then again, we killed we killed that king, so I guess we get our own comeuppance. Let's see, how many... Yep, 14. So I would probably be doing something like this. Uh, yeah. That seems about well. Amstrad, you're here, but you suck. Might try and trade some items off of him. <laughs> hey, who wants this thing? And it's like, I do. <laughs> okay, random person who just spoke for me. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Uh, where's fucking Nabarl? Nabarl, you take this shit. <laughs> Nabarl, you take this shit. Anyway, I'm just gonna save, so. Next time, we're gonna... This next map's a pretty, it's kind of different, kind of interesting, so interesting, so I'll see you guys next time.